Welcome to episode one of Flow's Fundamentals. This episode is focusing on the starter set of Killer Minds. There'll actually be a second episode specifically for the starter set, but every future uh, booster will only have one episode. Uh, so this is focusing on the very primary basics of Killer Bunnies right here. Uh, so the primary goal of Killer Bunnies is to collect the, as many carrots as you can in search of the magic carrot because at the end of the game, one of these carrots will be revealed to be the magic carrot based on the small card carrot deck. Whoever has that carrot is the winner. So the more carrots you have, the better chance you have at winning. You want to get the most carrots. That's your ultimate goal. Every player will start with seven cards. And there's different types of cards. There's Run, Special, Very Special, Cabal Adala, and Terrible Misfortune. Uh, the Adala, if you draw any of that, you set that down right away and draw new cards. The play me at least go ahead and discard those at the start of the game. Uh, they won't do anything now. At the start of the game, your hand should be just run special and very special. Once you have your seven card hand, you can set down your first two initial cards. This is what's called the top and bottom run cards. These cards are critical to gameplay because on your turn, you will flip over your top card, that's the card you're going to play this turn. In this case, I have a bunny. You will draw a card. You will slide the bottom card up, making room for you to set a new card. The order is play, draw, slide, set. So as you can see, you're actually planning your turns a couple of rounds in advance. So the card that I just set down will be the card that I play two turns from now. And the card that was previously my bottom run is now my top run. I will be playing that on my next turn. The run card I just demonstrated is an example of a bunny. Bunnies are very critical to the game. They're very easily recognized because they have, of course, the picture of bunny on the card. They're very simple. Uh, you'll notice that uh, there is no rectangle in the middle left. Uh, contrary to uh, most other cards, and the, all the bunnies have the same text, with one exception, and that is that players that have three bunnies in the bunny circle can play two cards per turn. Uh, that's not important right now, it's just keep in mind that bunnies are critical to the game because most cards require a bunny to play. Uh, this is an example of a run card that lets you choose a carrot. Uh, the reason we know this requires a bunny to play is because it has the pink rectangle right next to it. Notice the bunny did not have any rectangle. Some cards will have an empty rectangle, meaning they don't require a bunny. Uh, but quite simply, if a card has a pink rectangle, it requires a bunny in the bunny circle to be able to play. Since bunnies are required to play most cards, one of your primary goals is to attack your opponent's bunnies and to protect your own. All the bunnies form what's called the bunny circle. Some cards may refer to bunnies that are adjacent to a target, or bunnies that are two or three, even three spaces away from a target. So say, if we were looking at this uh, blue congenial bunny here, inside the circle, the green lumbering and the uh, orange congenial are one space away, that's considered adjacent. Uh, we have bunnies that are two, and even a bunny that's three spaces away as well. Uh, so you can just count from both sides if any card references uh, bunnies that are multiple spaces away. Uh, most of them are pretty self-explanatory, so just make sure to read your cards as you're playing them. Uh, now that we've looked at run cards, let's take a look at special card. Uh, special cards can work exactly the same way as a run card, where I run them through and I play them as my top card. But they have another functionality that I'll demonstrate here. Uh, so right now I have a sp the Supply Surprise Special as my top run card. What I can do is I can set it off to the side, that's called saving a special. And when you save a special, you can use it on any of your future turns. Uh, along with your normal card. Specials also allow you to play the special directly from the hand. So notice that free cabbage was in my hand, I can just play it directly instead of my normal run card. That's very important. When you have a card special saved, you can do both the save special and your normal card. When you play a special from the hand directly, it is instead of your normal run card. 
I cannot, however, save a special from my hand. That is not a legal play. Finally, very specials, such as the Magic Spatula here, can be played during anyone's turn. Uh, so let's just take a look at example here. Let's pretend opponent played a weapon on me, and it's of course their turn since they're playing the weapon. Uh, my bunny would normally have to roll higher than 9 to survive. I don't really want that to happen, so I'm going to play my Magic Spatula card, which counteracts the weapon, discarding both of them, and that didn't cost a turn. I'll just draw a card to replace it. So those are three types of playable cards. Let's take a quick look at the play immediately again now that we've uh, gone through the basics. We can talk about a little bit of these. We have Cabal Doll and the Terrible Misfortunes, if you remember from a previous slide. And whenever you draw Cabal Doll, just set it off to the side right away and draw a new card to replace it. Whenever you draw a Terrible Misfortune, one of your bunnies has to die. And of course, you would draw a new card to replace it. If you do not have a bunny when you draw a Terrible Misfortune, an opponent's bunny has to die, which is terribly misfortunate for them. The game will end once all of the carrots are bought from the supply. You saw I choose a carrot card before. You can also use Cabaladella to purchase carrots. At the end of the game, if you do not have a bunny, all of your carrots will go to the player with the most Della who does have a bunny. So you need to have a bunny alive at the end. Yet another reason why it's very critical to attack your opponent's bunnies and to protect your own. The winning carrot will be revealed and whoever has that carrot is the winner. Thanks for listening to this lecture of Flow's Fundamentals. This has been the first uh, lecture. Uh, there will be a second lecture on the Star Set. I encourage you to look at that because that will review trading and other basic mechanics. So look forward to that episode. And as always, Jeff Bless. <laughs>